ladies and gentlemen, we've just finished the installation, uh, network and software installation on the Panasonic uh, KXMB uh, 2061. Uh, it's an 8-in-1 black and white laser multifunction unit. And uh, aside from the traditional print, copy, and sc scan and fax, it also includes a decked six phone system that supports up to six cordless phones, a digital answering system, an intercom, and a corded, corded phone. Uh, this means that uh, uh, you need one phone line to do fax, voicemail, um, and it's automatically, uh, voicemails can be automatically routed to email accounts so that you can listen to uh, voice messages from a PC, a um, smartphone, or anything else that has email capability and uh, digital audio playback. Uh, so this is a pretty interesting little system for 249. Uh, if you consider that uh, you get a black and white MFP with uh, all of these um, voice and routing, uh, voicemail and fax uh, capabilities, I mean it's um, just about perfect for a, a small company that is starting up is going to have to think about a phone system, think about an MFP, think about a copier, think about a fax machine. Uh, this is a 249. You, you, you can't beat it. You have to buy uh, additional uh, uh, phones. I believe they're thir about $39 a piece. But, uh, so let's get back to um, what software was installed. But first, once again, let's go back and I'll say that we tested this this as a KXB3020 uh, did not include the telephony uh, information. There's a test report available uh, on this device uh, from over here uh, on a web page, the K Panasonic KXMB2030. Uh, and it's a PDF, a 30 page PDF that talks about in detail how the software and the uh, print engine works. So let's get back to uh, what has been installed. Uh, like I said, we installed the software. It was pretty pretty, uh, pretty boring. It took about 15 minutes. I had to answer one or two questions. I found our network printer um, in a heartbeat. So there really wasn't much to, to look at aside from gauges slowly going across the, sh off the, across the screen. But now let's see uh, how this is different from the uh, KXMB3020 that we tested, uh, 2030 that we tested uh, uh, a couple weeks ago. And like I said, I expect the biggest differences to be, have to do with the built-in telephony uh, devices uh, and functionality that this, this, this device has. So uh, the help function opened up and the multifunction station software opened up. Okay, as you can see, uh, you know, what is multifunction station? This is the software that, you know, where you print, preview, scan documents, uh, run the tw the uh, Twain driver if you like, do all of the fax, um, uh, storing, editing, erasing, one-touch styles, broadcast directories, um, and directories, etc. Um, for the advanced fax forwarding features, um, set up sending receiving this faxes from your from your computer. This is called PC fax, and playback voice messages. So these are the new things right here: playback voice messages, and some of this storing, editing, erasing uh, entries, etc. So uh, how to use the the telephone answering device. Uh, it wants you to, um, you know, load up the software. Uh, there's a message. Click on the message, etc. Um, so here is the help function. It looks like it's fairly good. Um, uh, Panasonic does a pretty good job of these things. Um, slightly above average. Tend to be pretty to the point, but uh, a good balance between the amount of information and um, um, ease of perusing that information. 
All right, so, you know, scan, PC fax, we know all about it. Uh, we know all about how to scan, send to uh, the viewer, send to a file, send to email, send to the uh, optical character re recognition software to have it um, um, uh, automatically converted to editable text. In this, in this um, case, it is, uh, let's see, what software are we looking for here? There it is, Panasonic. Uh, no, it's Read Iris. There it is. It's Read Iris Pro 7.0. It's OCR software. Uh, this PC fax, you um, fax uh, from your workstation. You can send files as faxes. This is your your communications log. If you click here to send a fax, you'd simply select. Uh, Instead of when you go to print a document, instead of selecting the printer, one of these days this dialog will open up and I can show you any day now this dialog will open up and I can show you. This the green thing here is taking its time. Can't be that complicated. Go, there we go. All right. Uh, you, instead of, if you wanted to send a fax from your PC, you would specify this print driver right here, uh, PC Fax Panasonic, and it would fax uh, from your PC through the uh, fax machine, the uh, the uh, K the fax portion of the KXMB 2061. Send it out over your phone line. So, PC Fax is a nice nice thing to have. You don't have to print a document then scan it. Uh, print it and put it in the fax machine and scan and it saves a step, saves paper, etc. Remote control is all of the uh, settings that you can change. You know, it requires a password to make them permanent uh, but as you can see you can set up uh, one touch um, one touch um, phone numbers. I'm looking how you set them up, but I don't see from here. Edit change. Uh, phone, okay, phone book. Um, new. Let's, uh, let's add a phone book. Okay, we'll add a phone book. Okay, apply. You don't need a password. Oh, let's see. I have it wants the uh, password to set this up. Okay, now. Telephone number is empty. You must input the telephone number. Okay. You would to create a one touch. You would also do uh, the same thing here. Enter the name and okay. And that would be that'll show up on a one touch uh, key on the control panel. Under, num under number one, um, there is a hard keys on the control panel that, uh, in fact, this didn't even make it, but uh, there's hard keys on the control panel, one through six for the one touch. Okay, here's all your setup for your fax, uh, your logo, your, f your fax number. Uh, you would put it in here. Um, 973-366-6782. Uh, tone dialing, ringer pattern, etc., etc. Fax ring count three, telephone answering machine ring count two. All of this stuff is coming over one phone line, so you don't need to have 
uh, you don't need to have a uh, separate fax phone line, although you can put on a separate, separate fax phone line. Uh, uh, when it answers and determines whether it's a fax or not, you can set I'm not so sure that ringer pattern has anything to do with uh, auto fax recognition, um, similar to distinctive ring on, on say, an HP. But we'll see uh, down the road how it works um, with the voice answering machine in fax and whether or not it can uh, automatically determine that a fax is coming. I'm, I'm sure it will. Um, oh, here, here it is, distinctive ring. So you'll be able to say, okay, if it hears a distinctive ring on the fact uh, on the phone, that means that a fax is coming in, and it's going to uh, automatically go into fax mode, and and it's got four different ring patterns uh, at, uh, that are attached to the distinctive ring. It's like double ring, triple ring, double and triple ring, etc. Et a A through A through D. And then you can have it go B through D, and this is probably all the different ring patterns. Um, this is single ring, this is probably double ring, this is probably triple ring, you know. So uh, more information in the uh, help will tell you exactly what those rings are, but you can set the uh, distinctive ring and the ring pattern uh, just in case your uh, P your fax doesn't answer correctly uh, in conjunction with your telephone answering machine or your or your uh, manual pickup of the handset and so you can see there's all kinds of stuff you can change here uh, here is your fax journal here's some caller ID information do I want to change this uh, I got I wanted to save the changes I have to enter the password okay utilities Okay, viewer, we know what that is. It looks at looks at scanned files. Uh, we know we we've looked at device monitor before on um, the 2030 the OCR. We know about that configuration web page. Opens up a web browser. Goes to the uh, device built-in web page of the device it allows you to go in and do more uh, more advanced changes than the utility and as you can see you can set up all of this stuff for the telephone answering device uh, there's web fax preview web voice playback uh, all of these things that you can set up uh, in the software in this software here all of this stuff that we went through here in remote control is also available from the device web page just set up a little bit different in and um, organize a little bit different uh, and once this loads you'll see that basically uh, all of this stuff here is in one big list but if you had to look it up over over here you'd have to muck around and find out uh, here's the here's the network IP settings and but here it's all right there if you want to modify it. so there's, if you don't have this software installed multifunction station you can still go in to the web page and um, adjust everything so uh, we looked at utilities here's PC telephone and it's the same thing we looked at in help if there were messages in here we'd be able to uh, play them back uh, 
And basically, this is just for playing back then. It doesn't look like there's any kind of forward or anything like that, but we'll find out once we start really getting into um, how the telephone answering machine works. All right, and settings. Uh, this is general settings. Um, nothing too dramatic. Except for here, shows you what the defaults are going to be if you select in this viewer. If you select viewer from this scan tool, this is the default settings for viewer. You want to set if you want for for file. You can show you can do color, resolution, darkness, lightness. You can save it to uh, different folders. Uh, you can you can set up different folders to have it. Each user could have their own own folder here, the scan to file folder on a, on a workstation. Actually, it's on their workstation, so they don't need to have their own folder. Uh, your settings for email, your settings for OCR, and then the custom setting is a little more comprehensive because it'll allow you to select custom and then specify um, an application like uh, Photoshop or um, Paint, MS Paint, uh, and then the document will come across uh, as any of these formats and launch automatically launch into an application that you've specified here. So if you sent over a uh, PDF, uh, you could have it automatically launch uh, Adobe Acrobat for, per se. So uh, those are the settings as related to uh, this multifunction scan. All right.